Are you tasked with selling SEO to your CEO? Is your CEO still on the fence and wants to buy the huge inflatable massive gorilla to put on top of the building when you really know that SEO is going to be the best value for your marketing? This video is for you. Today we're going to go over five things that you can use to sell SEO to your CEO and then um, consider some points that will help you no matter if you're a marketing director or if you're an outside consultant or maybe you're an SEO yourself and you're faced with CEOs of bigger companies who are on the fence about buying SEO over some other marketing options. So let's dive right in. So one of the first things you have to understand about talking to CEOs is what not to say. So in my experience talking to CEOs and selling it successfully is that they don't care about the minute details about SEO. So in other words, don't talk to them about technical SEO, don't talk to them about link building or canonical URLs or on-page optimization and off-page off optimization. Don't try to show off your technical know-how of SEO unless they really ask you for a deep dive. In my experience, CEOs only care about numbers and costs and how it's gonna make them money. So don't bother trying to sell them on the technical details about SEO when all they really care about is how it's gonna affect their bottom line. So the next thing you wanna do is put yourself in your CEO shoes. Um, so these are incredibly busy people. So they don't have time to sort through all the details. They have time to make decisions. So you wanna present this to them, SEO to them, like this is the best decision for them for their marketing dollars. So you wanna focus on the bottom line and revenue, as you mentioned before. And so these are the things that I recommend that you focus on and that they're probably gonna ask about when you approach them. So put yourself in their shoes when you consider these aspects of your pitch for SEO. So you're gonna to want to communicate quickly and efficiently in terms of business goals, how that works in terms of business goals. You wanna communicate in terms of risk, how, how the, what the risk is of SEO, what the upside is and what the downside is. You have to remember if, if your CEO has a boss too, if they have some corporate board that oversees them, kind of consider how that how they have to respond to them. Be aware of your company's budgeting and planning. So you have to understand if your company what your what your budgets are and what that can mean in terms of SEO and what, what their fiscal planning is uh, or quarterly or whatnot. So if you have a good idea of that, then then you know how much you can budget for these things ahead of time. Also, you want to think like a boss. Know the most you can about how SEO can help the company, just in general. CEOs are decision makers. They're going to want to know the answers to these questions. Why should we invest in SEO versus another marketing strategy? Enter whatever marketing strategy you want there, whether it's uh, the billboard or the huge freaking gorilla or whatever it is. Um, what profits can you estimate? How long is it going to take? What are the key performance indicators? How many widgets do we have to sell to justify the cost? How many of, of your products do you have to sell to justify the cost of SEO? And can we do this in-house versus hiring an agency or whatnot? The next thing you want to do is point out the competitor strategy. So nothing ruffles a CEO's feathers more than saying, hey, our competitor is destroying us on these keywords in Google, and this is what we can attribute to their success in terms of keywords. I mean, I once had a SEO, a CEO tell me that he wanted to suffocate the competition. So if that is the approach of your CEO, then you want to communicate to them, this is how we can do this. And this is where the competition is winning in SEO. And this is how we can compete with them. So that is a really great thing to, to, to bring up to your CEO and say, Hey, the, com the competitors are doing it and we're not, they're doing a great job and we need to catch up to them and surpass them. And this is what the tools that we need to do that. Another thing you can do is show your CEO some stats or credible data from third party resources that they respect so that they can see the value of SEO. So you can take just general marketing stats, um, pulled off websites and then send those to them or better yet, you can look at metrics that you have in place from your small amount of tracking and then present those to them, especially if you can try to kind of quantify what little SEO that you've done so far or that you have and how that's affected the website or your business and how that can be scaled up. So we once had a client who was this kind of ball breaker CEO and there's a big real estate development company 
and he didn't really believe in the power of SEO until the marketing team presented him with the metrics for, for SEO. And he saw that it was the cheapest cost per acquisition per lead and the most effective. So he said, oh, wow, look, you know, look at this. Before he was, he was more traditional media. And then he changed his tune because he got information very specific to his bottom line that helped him change the decision. So if you, can, if you can furnish that kind of information to help sell, that might be also very effective for you in, in swaying your CEO's opinion. So the final thing that you wanna do in terms of pitching SEO to your CEO is providing a very sound estimate of ROI. So for example, if you sell widgets and they are 50 bucks and you're paying a thousand bucks a month for SEO, so you need to sell 20 widgets to break even, right? Um, so if you can tell your SEO, like after four months, we're gonna be able to sell 20 widgets. So it's gonna take this ramp up period, but after eight months, we're gonna be able to sell uh, 80 widgets and then so on and so forth and, and kind of give a sound estimate of how you can scale the SEO services over time and what kind of return on investment that's going to be like, especially if you compare it to other marketing avenues. So the final thing you want to do is just set expectations from the start with your, C your CEO if, if they're kind of on the fence. You don't want to tell them, oh, hey, you know, get us this, this C uh, SEO budget and in four months we'll, we'll be killing it and tracking and, and destroying the competition. You have to be realistic and you have to set those expectations up front and you know, don't tell them it's gonna take four months if you know it's gonna take 10 or a year if you're in a really competitive niche. Um, and if you are in a really competitive niche and you need to get traction fast and consider pushing some pay-per-click into the mix. So if you have any other questions about how to pitch your CEO or did you like this video, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for following, check you later and go sell. Thank you.